Today, we're going to make emergency candles for about a quarter of the price that you can buy them online. Hey everybody, welcome back to the homestead. This is Kevin with Living Traditions Homestead. And today, uh, we're going to do a quick project. Uh, we're going to build some uh, emergency candles uh, that you can uh, store to put away for uh, if there's a bad storm and you lose power, or uh, if you just you know, don't want to use the power and want some, uh, some good candle light. So uh, it's a real easy project to make and uh, let's get started. Now in the past I've always bought uh, these emergency candles online. Uh, this is a 115 hour uh, emergency candle. They come in real handy uh, but they cost between five and seven dollars a piece uh, depending on where you buy them but on Amazon they're anywhere from actually five to ten dollars a piece. Uh, so, uh, they got me thinking there's got to be a way to make these, and today I'm going to show you how to make them for about $1.50 a piece, and the best part is you can refill them, and then it only costs you about $0.75 cents a piece when you need to refill them. So let's get started. Uh, there's a few things that you're going to need. Uh, the very first thing is you're going to need some half pint mason jars. I went to the store today and bought a dozen of these half pint mason jars. Uh, a dozen of them cost me uh, just under eight dollars. So we're going to make four of them today. The next thing that you're going to need is some lamp oil. Uh, this bottle was about three dollars at Walmart and this will be enough to make all four of these. Uh, you're going to need some cotton string. Um, just make sure it's uh, you know 100 percent cotton. Some old uh, canning lids. Uh, you can use the, the lids that came with these, but I figure why not use old ones and save the brand new ones. So we'll use these old lids. Uh, a block of wood. And you're going to need a drill uh, with a very small drill bit. Alright, the first thing we're going to do is take uh, these old uh, lids that we have. And we're going to drill a hole with this tiny little drill bit. Um, it needs to be big enough, the hole needs to be big enough that this cotton string can go through the hole twice uh, because we're going to put it in a, in a double pattern, uh, so, but it needs to go through very, very tight. Uh, you don't want it to be able to slip uh, in, in through the hole easily, so it needs to be tight. So um, find a drill bit that's about that size, uh, find about the middle of the, of the uh, lid. Uh, you know my saying around here, perfect or done is better than perfect. So get as close to the middle of that lid as you can and drill a hole in each lid. Once you have a hole drilled in the middle of each lid, um, what we're going to do is cut our string. All right. Now to measure to measure the string, uh, you want to measure so that the string is three times the length of the jar. So whatever size jar you're using, you can use other size jars. I like these because they're not very tippy. You want to measure how long that jar is, and then make the piece of string three times that long. The goal is, once it's folded in half, that you want one and a half times the height of the jar hanging down into the liquid. Now I have found that the easiest way to put the string through the lid is to put one side through And then put the other end through. And that just seems to be easier than trying to put, put it through folded in half. 
And then you only want to leave just a tiny little bit above the top of the lid. And there should be quite a bit of it curled up inside the jar. So we're going to do that on all four of these lids and then we'll move on to the next step. So I've got all of the wicks in. The next step is to fill the jars with the lamp oil. And what I'd like to do is just fill them to the beginning of the neck of the jar. There we go. And we actually look like we have enough to make one more, so that actually makes them even cheaper. Alright, so now we'll just put our lids on. Put our rings on. And we're essentially done at this point. Uh, all we need to do now is uh, wait about 15 minutes uh, for the uh, uh, wicks to soak up the oil and we'll be all ready to go. All right, so it's been about 10 minutes. Uh, let's see if the uh, candles are ready to light. There you go. Looks like they're all working. Now, I'm not exactly sure, uh, you know, how long one jar of oil will burn, uh, but the nice part is with these, you can refill them. Uh, it doesn't cost you very much, and they work great. Now, like any candle, you know, you probably shouldn't leave them unattended, and if something doesn't look like it's working quite right, you know, make a new one. Don't take any chances. So, you guys, uh, this was a real quick, uh, easy uh, project, but I hope it's something that you can use. Uh, we're always trying to find ways to save money around the homestead, and this is a way that we can do it. So, you guys, if you haven't uh, hit the subscribe button yet, go ahead and do that before you leave. If you enjoyed this video, give it a thumbs up. And until next time, st thanks for stopping by the homestead, and God bless.